Thank you, Carly. There's a potential breakthrough treatment for Alzheimer's disease. The University of Texas Health Science Center at San Antonio and University Health are teaming up to be part of a worldwide study to treat the disease. Researchers hope the technique could slow down or even stop Alzheimer's completely. The technique being used is called deep brain stimulation or DBS therapy. The therapy was originally being used to target obesity, but researchers found it actually helped improve patients' memory. Dr. Salim Mr. Rodney joins us live to discuss it further. Dr. Sarani, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Good morning to you. If you could please tell us what deep brain stimulation therapy is and, and how does it work? Good morning, Barbie. Glad to be here. You know, one of the things is that Alzheimer's disease is one of the most challenging things because, you know, our seniors and elderly, they, they their memory loss they, is there. They have a difficulty in planning this problems, their cognitive function is impaired, sometimes their mood is impaired, and sometimes they keep on forgetting the things. And we have come up with some medicine, you know, try to help with some of the symptoms, but there is no cure. So what you're describing is a deep brain stimulation is a therapy where you put, just like, you know, when you have a heart pacemaker, they stimulate the heart and give the beat. Uh, similarly, the deep uh, brain stimulation is what you do is you implant a device and then you put a two little wires or electrode goes deeper into the brain and it kind of generates the electrical pulse. We know that the whole brain is kind of a uh, electrical circuit and uh, somehow the circuit is not working that good. So when you put and implant those uh, wires, it keeps on generating the pulse and it tries to act on the area where you have a memory and other cognitive function responsibility and try to stimulate and increase your memory. This thing has been done some in some of the other conditions like uh, tremors and sometimes you have a patient with the seizures. You have tried to go ahead and uh, use those stimulation to help uh, those conditions. But this was kind of an incidental thing. They're looking for something else, but they found like, uh-huh, this is kind of working. And now there is a big uh, global trial is going on, and the UT San Antonio is part of that trial. So what they're going to try to do is now they have to do is, okay, it is working. What frequency stimulation we give? We give a low frequency of medium or high. I think they are going to be doing the testing on a low frequency and high frequency and try to find out uh, what level of stimulation of the brain is going to help. So it's a, it's a, if it comes in, it's a major breakthrough because we really don't have a cure uh, for a disease which is kind of inflicting a lot of our seniors and elderly and sometimes someone in, even in the middle age if they have a genetic predisposition. We definitely hope that there is a breakthrough that we need. Dr. Sarani, thank you so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate your time as always. If you have a question for Dr. Sarani, make sure that you text that question to the number on your screen, 361-855-6397.